It's finally here. For many of you who have been waiting for it, and for those who weren't, Tesla has finally made their plans known as regards to the Tesla Semi. We've waited a long time for this vehicle, and the wait is finally over. But there's much to know about this update from Tesla, so make sure you stick around for the rest of the video. The most important information will be revealed later on. What are the important updates regarding Tesla Semi? Are we going to see them everywhere on streets anytime soon? Join us as we explore everything you need to know about the updates concerning the new Tesla Semi. When the year 2022 started, everyone had huge hopes for what Tesla and its boss Elon Musk would bring to the market. Even I had big hopes for what was to come. Tesla had unveiled a couple of its finest vehicular inventions and had even added release dates for some of them, hence the excitement. However, it came as a shock to every one of us when Elon Musk mentioned that there would be nothing new for 2022. And I'm sure some of you wondered if it was a true story or if it was just one of Elon Musk's many posts on the internet that hardly ever remained the same. As much as even I didn't want to believe it, there really was some truth to that sad story. This became public sometime in January of 2022 when Elon Musk stated it at an event. This shocking news was made public during a Tesla investor's call discussing the company's solid financial performance in the fourth quarter of 2021. Elon Musk and Tesla stated emphatically that 2021 had been a breakthrough year for the electric car company in spite of the supply chain and semiconductor issues with solid sales growth and new factories on the verge of releasing marketable cars. This seemed like the sunshine before the rain, as his next statement shocked everyone who heard it. When asked about Tesla's future products and why the company planned not to release any new products, Elon Musk said, there's too much on our plate. Apparently, this is because Tesla places a higher priority on scaling output and production than on any new vehicle product development. According to Elon Musk, any new vehicle developments would require attention and resources away from the production of current cars. However, there is more to this sad news than that. Although Tesla had predicted it would be able to make 50% more cars than it did in 2020, Tesla boss Elon Musk said that the worldwide chip shortage would prevent the electric car company from releasing any new models in 2022. And that meant another delay for the series of new vehicles that the company had planned to release. More specifically, reports stated that Elon Musk said that even if Tesla had introduced a new car in 2021, the total vehicle output would have remained unchanged as a result of the constraints caused by the global chip shortage. He stated, we will not be introducing new vehicles this year. It wouldn't make any sense. He also confirmed that Tesla would be continuing the development of their new additions, like the Cybertruck, the Roadster, and most importantly, the Semi. However, before any new vehicle made a debut, Tesla was focused on growing production capacities at their current factories while they started production at their new factories. Tesla also planned to optimize the use of semiconductors due to the limited supply of chips that could operate basic vehicle functions, such as electric seats and electric windows, all while the development of the Tesla robot called the Optimus would continue. However, all of this is in the past, and Tesla and Elon Musk bring us good news as regards the development of new vehicles, particularly the Tesla Semi. The Tesla Semi was initially mentioned in the Tesla 2016 Master Plan. At the time, Tesla stated that they had a working prototype that used a bunch of electric motors from the Tesla Model 3. A concept prototype of the Tesla Semi was revealed at a press conference on November 16, 2017, where Elon Musk provided more specifics about the vehicle. He stated that the electric semi-truck would cost 20 cents per mile less to operate than your average diesel truck if charged at a mega charger, where Tesla would ensure a price of 7 cents per kilowatt hour in the US. At that time, Tesla anticipated that the expected price for the regular production version of the 300-mile and 500-mile range Tesla semis would be $150,000 and $180,000 respectively. They also stated that they would offer a Founder Series semi at $200,000. Tesla also held an unveiling event for the Tesla Semi and Roadster in December 2017, and Elon Musk said, production of the Semi begins in 2019, so if you order now, you get the truck in two years. He also stated, we guarantee this truck will not break down for a million miles, as the company claimed that the Tesla Semi would have a drivetrain to last one million miles. Elon Musk explained this as being due to the proposed four independent electric motors and that if a few should break, the semi should still run on down to only two motors. 
He also stated that the jackknifing would be impossible because of the four independent motors dynamically adjust to conditions. At the 2017 reveal, production of the Tesla Semi was slated to start in 2019. However, that was pushed to the end of 2020 by June of 2019. A few after that, in October 2019. At the Q3 investor call, Tesla maintained the 2020 production target, although in limited numbers. A few weeks into 2020, at the 2019 Q4 earnings call, Elon Musk mentioned the lack of battery production capability as a limiting factor for the Tesla Semi stipulated production timeline, as the company chose to use the battery supply for passenger cars instead. In January of 2020, Elon Musk said that the Tesla Semi production would be deferred until the end of the year, as Tesla hoped to boost high volume production of its tabless 4680 battery cells to match the demand for the Tesla Semi and other vehicles. However, things ended up stalling for even longer. However, the situation is finally looking up. There have been a series of new information released about the highly anticipated Tesla Semi, and one bit of that information is a likely date for the start of production. In October of 2022, Tesla boss Elon Musk posted on Twitter that the 500-mile range model Tesla Semi had started production. Reports stated that Tesla has been making a production line for the Tesla Electric Semi in a new building near Gigafactory, Nevada, and that the production equipment would be for about five electric semi trucks per week. That would result in only 250 trucks being produced per year. However, Tesla has plans to move to higher volume production at Gigafactory, Texas. During an interview after the release of Tesla's Q3 2022 financial results, Tesla boss Elon Musk stated that Tesla is tentatively targeting the production of 50,000 units in 2024 for Tesla Semi in North America, and obviously will expand beyond North America. Additionally, Elon Musk confirmed that the Tesla Semi truck doesn't use 4680 battery cells, as had previously stated. However, he didn't confirm which battery cells the electric truck uses, but it's probably the same 2170 cells seen in most Tesla Model 3 and Model Y in production. Elon Musk didn't state outright that the company's component shortage problems for the electric semi-truck had already been handled. However, if Tesla has started producing the vehicle and there's already a stipulated delivery date, the company must have at least enough parts to build Tesla semis for its first customer. Speaking of the delivery date and first customer, the delivery date for the Tesla Semi has been set for December 1, 2022, and the first batch of semis will be delivered to PepsiCo Incorporated, which ordered 100 semi trucks from Tesla back in December 2017. Apart from PepsiCo, there are other big names that have placed their order for this truck and are just waiting to get their hands on one of these trucks, including Walmart and UPS. It's also been confirmed that the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, has given Tesla the green light to begin deliveries of the Tesla Semi, as they have assessed the Class 8 electric semi truck and granted it a certificate of conformity, allowing it to start sales. And for those who don't know, a certificate of conformity is given by the EPA when a vehicle is believed to follow the agency's emissions and fuel economy requirements, 